Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Battlefront 2 modding tutorial. This is going to be episode 5 of our series, and it's been a while, <laughs> but we're just doing something very simple and very quick today. Um, we're going to be hex editing a texture to match our unit, and I'll explain as we do it. It's going to be very simple, nothing too hard. Requisites we're going to need before we get started is we're going to need HXD, which is this little thing I have here at the bottom. This is our hex editor that I use. Um, I don't use it often just for Battlefront 2 modding, and I'll show you it's not really that hard to get a hang of. Uh, we're just going to be doing it very sloppily, very quickly, so it serves the purpose that we want it to. You can get this just by looking up HXD. It'll be the first thing that comes up. You just go there and download it, or there's a link on Game Toast if you want it there as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the default Battlefront 2 uh, clone model, and then we're going to be hex editing it, so that way it calls for our texture. First things first, we're in our 0AB sides rep folder. We're going to back out until we get to the BF2 mod tools root folder here. We're going to go to assets, sides, rep, and then we're going to go to mesh. And if you remember, the default phase 2 clone trooper is called EP3 trooper. So we're going to take it, we're going to copy these three things, these three top ones. Um, so this top one is the trooper, this one's the option file, which is the no collision for the mesh, and then this one is the texture itself. Those are the only three we need. So we're going to go back to the Battlefront 2 mod tools folder. We're going to go 0AB, sides, rep, and then we're going to go to our mesh folder here, and we're going to drop it in there. So then when we click on it and open it up with our mesh viewer, if I can pull it aside, and when we open it up in our mesh viewer, it's going to be the default clone trooper. We don't want that. What we want is to rename the model. So we're going to rename it and then we're going to rename the option to go with it. So we're going to call it rep and and then let's just give it a fun name. Since we're doing the tutorial series, we'll call it tutorial series clone. So then we're going to copy that name and then we're going to apply it to the option file as well. So that way we can still have the default model in here and it won't collide, you know. So we're going to reopen it, because here's the thing, when you rename it, it's still calling for that texture to be applied in it in the mesh file. So that's what hex editing is. We're going to edit it so that way it calls for our texture instead of that one. So I do have a texture here that I was working on before. So it's called right now rep inf f3 trooper, but that's the same one that we have here. So I can't just drag this one in here because it'll say we already have that. So what do we do? Well, we got to hex edit. So we need to rename this texture here, our new one that we're going to be using, to something else. But it has to have the same amount of characters. So what I typically do is I just backtrack and make it the amount of characters that are in Ep3 Trooper and keep those first two parts. So typically if it's like a Republic or, yeah, a Republic clone skin, then typically it's like rep inf something. Because that's how Battlefront 2 does its files. So I typically go with that same file and organization system as you see with a lot of my folders. And that's how I'm going to be calling this one. F3 Trooper has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it has 10 characters. So that's what we have to make this one. So we're going to call it tut. And then that's 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then our thing is called series clones. We're going to put SC at the end. So we're going to copy that thing entirely. Now we're going to put that Targa right there, and then we're going to right click on Rep Inf Tutorial Clone Series, Tutorial Series Clone, you know, same thing. Then we're going to go to Open With and open it up in HXD Hex Editor. And then once we have this open, this looks very confusing. Basically, if you scroll through here real quick, you will be seeing things that call specifically for um, few and far between, but it'll be calling for that episode three trooper skin. So all we need to do right here, rep F3 trooper, and then it's going to call for the actual target later on. So all we need to do is find and replace all of those exact instances and only those instances. So that way it calls for our skin instead. So if we go to search, replace, we type in rep inf f3 trooper. And let me get rid of those zero zero zeros. 
ep3 trooper and then we replace it with the name of ours that is the exact same character limit and click replace all it'll replace three occurrences for it and then we see here there that's an example where it replaced it so then we click OK we click save and we close and then it'll make this backup file here we can go ahead and delete that we don't need it and then if we double click on the rep inf tutorial series clone and drag it into our mesh viewer we'll see it's not calling for that episode 3 trooper skin that we still have in our folder it's calling for the custom one that we just had it so this is the custom one so now what do we do well now it's exactly how we did it before we apply it to a unit and then we munge and then we go in game so we're going to copy the name of that mesh we're going to go to our ODF here we're going to open up our Katarn clone and then we're going to replace the geometry names with our new mesh then we're going to save close out of there back up to build mod tools visual munge and then we're not doing common because we didn't mess with the scripts at all. We're only doing the rep side because that's all we changed was our rep, our mesh, and our ODF. And then it's going to come up with our new collision because we added a no collision mesh, one that's new. So since it munched it for the first time in that folder, it's going to come up. It said it's all good so we can close it and then we can open the game. So now we're here in game and if we go to the Republic side, it should have our new clone skin. And it does. So there's our new clone. And it's taking up all the other units as well, and that's the one that we added. So that's all there is to it, guys. It's very simple, very easy. I know you say hex editing, and then you look at that program. It looks very confusing for those that don't actually know what it is. Um, I was the same way when I started. Luckily, it's just this is just a very sloppy and very simple way to do what we were after, and that's all there is to it. So once you do that, you can use the stock game models or other people's models and just add your new textures to it with their permission, of course. So that's all there is today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you want more, be sure to subscribe and comment. Let me know what other things you'd like to see in the tutorial because I've kind of been hard-pressed for ideas of simple ways to take this thing as we're kind of doing it in order. I might do zero editing next. I might do localization next. But I do have a few ideas going forward. Just let me know what you would like to see so you can get the most out of it because this is for you more so than it is for me. But thank you again, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.